modifying railing joints. I'm going to select modify and then pick this railing. And then I have the railing selected. I'm going to go over to and select edit path in my modifies railings uh, tab. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my cursor down the line. As I slide it down the line, when I get to the intersection where the railings are at, um, uh, actually we want to, sorry, we want to edit joins. So we click edit joins. And now I'm going to slide my cursor down the line. And when I get to the intersection of the, it will have a snap uh, show up and I will left click and it will put an X there and I'll slide my cursor down to the next one and when I get to the intersection I'll get a snap I left click I slide it down the railing line when I get to the next intersection it'll get a snap and I click now this provides me with this options bar and here's my rail join and I'm currently by fault joining by type and I can join them by extend rails to meet. I can insert vertical or flat segment and I go with a no connector. And sometimes you might have to look these up to figure what they are. Uh, it's okay to go to help and you can get some information from your helps on what these mean at this point. So, but you can always edit those uh, also you get a preview here as well and so you can actually display that geometry as you go so uh, you can go through and basically just try different ones see what they look like see if that's what you want and when you're done uh, I'm gonna say extend rails to meet for example I'll click on preview and then I'll say alright let's hit OK if I like it and we just modified the railing joints.